now Cause you're my hero, don't stop now We need some heroes, don't stop now We need our heroes, don't stop now Blame? Blame for what? It's not over, JR. Our heroes are Bernard King, Patrick Ewing, and John Starks. These guys never quit. Larry Johnson with his four-point play. We've come back from worse than this. We're the New York Knicks, man. New York We're the Giants The Yankees The Mets and the Jets And now Brooklyn Giants to see What's that about? The Patriots came into the Super Bowl With the undefeated season The best team ever All the chatter Beat by the Giants, by Eli Manning, and they catch on the top of the head. What else? Our hearts broke with John Starks. Our hearts broke with Batch Ewing. Every facial, oh, we felt it. Fun. Seems like fans these days on the message boards, Knicks fans are getting that Met fan mentality of tearing your guys down, stick down. Who else can we get playing off as manager? This team's not good enough for me. You know what made the Knicks fans in the 90s special? We loved our team. We loved all our Knicks. Right, Spike Lee? I can name Knicks. Ready? Patrick Cummings, Andre Thornton, Rory Sparrow, Daryl Walker, Larry Real with Johnny Newman, Anthony Mason, uh, Charles Oakley, Patrick Ewing, John Starks, Larry Ken, uh, Lenny Bannister, what his name what was that guy's name? Uh, uh, Ernie Grunfeld, Trent Tucker, Hugh, Hugh Davis, who else? name. Uh, Charlie Ward. Well, everybody knows those teams, man. Latrell Sprewell, Allen Houston, Marcus Camby. Uh, who else do we have? A lot of good players, man. We love these players. I'm sorry. I just love them. Johnny Newman. Who remembers Gerald Wilkins in his mustard soup? Who remembers Johnny Newman and and Gerald Wilkins going for 40 points like in the same game one time. Did that happen or was that just my memory? Anyway, we stuck by our players and we love them. We are. Our hearts broke with John Starks, you know what I'm saying? We can jump on like this pack of zombies that you all ready to fall on a carcass. You seem to enjoy kicking a man when he's down more than winning. You enjoy calling a girl a nasty name. Then taking her on a date. Let her cry on your shoulder. Cause it's not over yet at all. It's not even close to over, it's only three and one. I mean, really, this Knicks team is very well capable of winning the next 12 quarters outright. We've seen them play that kind of style of basketball that is the best in the league, and it can't be beat. They destroyed Miami when they played right. They destroyed everybody when they played their kind of basketball. They had that 13-game winning streak. It was not a lie. Lynn Sanity was not a lie. Very important to both of these things was the presence of Steve Novak in the corner somebody who is willing to look for him. Jeremy Lin passed to Steve Novak often during the little winning streaks. Uh, I was at the Dallas game, and 
I was going to see Linsanity and Linsanity delivered. But what I saw was how good Steve Novak was. Money. Money. Very few shooters like that I've ever seen. And uh, having a shooter like that in the corner does something to the offensive flow. It, um... All right, let me do this. What happens is... Okay, you got five guys on the court. Uh, okay. So this is here. All right, so here we go. With... Oh, man, I can't do this in the mirror. Let me do it over here. Watch this hand. Hmm. So what you do... Novak in the corner. Suppose, okay, here's a basketball court. Novak's here in the corner, okay? Jason Kidd is here. Chandler's here. Mello's on the weak side. What happens? Defender has to be right here, looking, constantly shading up, shading up to pick, to, to, to cheat onto Novak and to try and, you know, close off this passing lane. Okay? This makes J.R. Smith or Carmelo Anthony can come down and post, creating an offensive triangle. Okay? Or Carmelo can be sitting on the other side, the weak side. Kid here, Tyson Chandler here. These three creating a uh, uh, off, uh, an offensive flow where the ball can go into Chandler, who can then pass to either the corner for Novak, make his own move, or pass to Carmelo on the weak side for jump shots. Also, J.R. Smith, Kevin Kenyon Martin, can slash middle and be an agent of activity. Jason Kidd moves the ball back and forth. He reverses the ball to Carmelo. Steve Novak stays put. It creates a defensive attention span uh, differential where his defender now has to turn his back to his own team to keep an eye on Novak. As he keeps turns and cheats, he keeps an eye on the ball, Novak keeps cheating up, creating open spots. Carmelo, Kidd, Jay Tyson can now work with the space generated by the tension caused by the constant threat of Steve Novak to create space and driving angles, which he uses comfortably and superbly. Um, once this is going, the Knicks seem to take it on as a personality. And once uh, they're going, uh, like Lee Ellis from the Basketball Jones said, the ball just starts fizzing around and then takes on a incredible rapid ball movement as everybody gets on board. Uh, with the game plan and the spacing and understand how it's played. Um, and uh, it's simple. Play Novak. That's the difference between the team that's playing that had a 13-game winning streak that was the mo best team in the league for the first month of basketball uh, this year. And at the beginning and the end uh, is 12 minutes of Jason Kidd and Steve Novak together. Um, it doesn't matter really who the other three, are, uh, other three are because everybody we have is amazing at their roles as scorers, defenders, shot blockers, jumper, uh, driving lanes, uh, Copeland, just doing damage and scoring. Everybody just excels in the space generated uh, by Kidd and Novak um, together. So basically this is not over. It's not even close to over. The Knicks fans... The defeated attitude. You're not. You're not my Knicks fans. You're not the Knicks fans I knew and the ones I hang out with. Uh, we're Yankees fans, uh, and we never give up on our team. We never kicked on Tom Mattingly when he was down. I loved all those guys. Sorry, I don't rip on my team. I'm a New Yorker. I'm loyal. I'm very loyal. You guys aren't loyal. I'm loyal to Steve Novak. I'm loyal to everybody on this team. And I don't like seeing anybody benched who contributed to the success and my joy this season of watching this great team, the New York Knicks. I swear, I swear, guys, where's the fans, man? You're all a bunch of zombies picking on a corpse, man, picking on a corpse. You guys are crazy. I, I'm the crazy one? You guys are crazy, man. Spike Lee, man, you know it's true. You know it's true, Spike Lee. Calling you out if you ever see this. What's more important, how good you are or how good you can be? Come on, don't stop now We need a hero Don't stop now We really need some heroes Don't stop now Cause you're my hero Don't stop now, J.R. Smith 
the best, I swear this guy could be the next who knows what. Man. This guy is, uh, is, is I think he's already as good, he's as good as Vince Carter. And he could be as good, he could be better. Un unlimited potential in that guy still. Alright, that's it. I don't know what I'm doing. But this is going up. This is for damn sure going up. And if you're playing uh, video blackjack, dealer shows king. Peace out, Jim Williams.